everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. I just stacking an extra 500 gold is just such a huge buff to the antiquarian. Before it was like, well, I guess we get an extra 500 gold per stack, but a thousand that's it, that's two thirds of what the original stack could be added on top. It's pretty fantastic. That was, yeah, that was just curious. I was like, did I just make a terrible mistake? A handsome reward for a task well performed. You people are fine. 80? Oh, that's right, you had a mortality debuff. 70, 70, 80. You didn't do it! Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. Yeah, no. You're funny, game. Oh, nose, it's crabs! So, you're gonna stop them from existing. And you have a heal, and I'll just pull. You don't really need the stun. They don't really need to be moved. Crit 20! Wow, that settles that. I was like, huh, what to do? I guess I'll start working on the back line because they're gonna do lots of damage, and we have ways to fix the bleeds. And then we did that. So, let's kill the fishmen first. Don't typically do that, but you know what? They had it coming. They're only gonna take six, so we do need to hit them. Arterial pinch. Also, she's pretty resistant, so I'm not too scared. Hey, you gonna go first. Pop. That's what happens when you gonna go first. Bleed out! It resisted. Uh, you're missing 9 health. I guess I'll heal you. Resistances. You can spam Blight. You can fairly reliably-ish bleed. I mean, it has like a 11% chance to resist. I'm pretty impressed with the Crab's Mad Not Bleeding skills. Blight. Blight. And... Crab Stab and, and Crab Bleed. a party that stamps on crabs. 129% plus 30%. Yeah, that's 169. So you only had an 11% chance to resist. You can heal for 7, 5, 3, 4. I guess 7 is worth it. 15. But we have a healer that can fix people. Another healer that can get rid of the status effects, it's like, oh no, arterial pinch. Except not. You're just buying time, crab. You're just buying time. Sacrifice! Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Yeah, it's fine. I don't need heirlooms anyway. Westlo. Man, I did it again. I didn't know where the dungeon ended. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. So we will quickly prevent nighttime ambush. And then you'll get rid of your diseases. And then you'll get rid of her diseases. You still have one? Oh no, okay, it just went real fast. I was like, did it not get rid of both of your diseases? I'm upset now. Uh, encourage stuff. Trinket scrounge, woo! Kill her stress. And kill Guerin stress. And rest, peacefully, because we know that the tentacle Radiance, gods are protecting may us. We find victory. And we'll walk here, and we open this, and it's like, oh my god, it's the thing we're looking for! And then I throw the key in there, and we're done. Except, I want to see what this other curio is. Also... You failed! Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. You can actually see the torch, and it looks different. There's a new thing here for torches. You touch it. Oh, and the torch goes away when you grab it. That's cool. 
Is there any other curios we can get without touching anything? There is. Okay. Beat it with a shovel. A fortune waiting to be spent. Don't need the bandages. It's getting any last minute money out of here. Do we see anything? No, I don't really want to fight anymore. Alright, there was nothing there. Let's get out. And so... Prophet. And masters! Let sleeping evils lie. Loads of money. Cash calf, you almost made it. Steady, minus 10% stress, that's cool. Cove stuff, that's awesome, obsessed with killing. You probably should be. Minus 3% crit off range skills kind of sucks. Plus 5% accuracy. The natural swings. Should be playing baseball. A finely crafted instrument of butchery and bloodshed. Yeah, lost Yours and found. For the taking. Lost and found was the quest that was on this mission. So I guess all along we were doing missions that happened to have this and that didn't have that before, or maybe it did and I'm unobservant. But we did the mission that said lost and found underneath it, and then we got lost and found. So let's just go over here to the last and found, and I'm gonna throw you in here, and it's free. Yay! So apparently they made everything cheaper too, because upgrading their weapons and stuff, I mean I know I did hers, but the weapons and the armor, instead of being 4,000 upgrade them, it was only 3,000. And to upgrade the skills, <clears throat> it was only 1250 and the rank before that was 675 or something, so it looks like they made buying skill upgrades cheaper too. So we did what we could. Princess Apricot is fully upgraded now. And the damage debuff is fully upgraded. And it's pretty much guaranteed that it goes up. So basically, we have a healer here. Because we're going to go here because Ancestor's thing and extra stuff is cool. Everybody here is actually Resolve level 5. So they can all benefit from it. And lots of blights and stuns and stuff. Pretty good heal, potentially. Tree Branch Smackdown will be reduced. That's the goal of bringing this guy. If he uses it twice, that thing does like no damage. Super tanky and awesome. Super bleedy and awesome. They're finally together. Away we go! Let's... Bring 4 for a food check. 12, that'd be 16 if we only get 2 food checks. Let's just, let's just bring 2. I don't even want to risk it. Torches! We are going to need to keep the torch light up. Because he has a sun ring. So we're probably going to want 2 stacks of that. And now, I have to spend the rest of our money on shovels, because there's tons of tentacle trees here. We have someone that can cure Blight and Bleed, so it looks like that's what we're going to have to rely on, because I guess I upgraded too many people. But we have food, we have torches, and we have shovels. Do you really need anything else? I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. It looks like a skull. It was split at the top. So, 90% of room exploration. That's pretty shit. Looks like we're gonna have to run all the way up to the end here. Like, we just... I wish we could have started right here. I would've, I would've liked that. Grave Nibble! So, you're gonna stun the big daddy. What? What? I upgraded it! 40%. That means he has a 100 and, or, yeah, 180% chance to stun. Oh, 95% resist. Okay, I was like, you impossible. You must be lying. 7 to 12. Probably not going to kill it. Reduce its damage, I guess. I don't really want these things to disease Decimated. anybody. Even though we can fix it. And this puts him in a position Eradicated. to eradicate them. Ah, I see what you're going to do. You're going to help. I reduced your damage. 
And now you're upset. Two. Get bled. Stuff here doesn't resist like in the cove. So now there's like no chance of you resisting. You're gonna play the bleed all day every day again. You're going to, well, nobody's really hurt. Reduce its damage more because, why not? Mine is 80% damage. I wanna see you hit me for two. Will you quit howling? You two, good job dodging. You two, would you just, just, just stop? Oh, that's right. I didn't realize the, the torchlight already lit. fell down so far. Path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Nobody took a single point of damage. You jerk. Wasting all that time doing stuff. You know what? I'm gonna kill you. Stab. That didn't work. Which makes her really angry. And then death. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Got yeah, pretty decent camping skills, though. Blade is empty. So he can still kill stress on himself and the others. We have radiant light. Which is good because we needed it. Much surprise. So you're going to stun them. How do you even? like a 16% chance to resist. So you're going to get your damage down because you don't have enough to stop that from working. Stunned. Can we put the blade? Yeah, we should put the blade on this. Crit 24. That I wasn't expecting. Bleed will now take care of it. I mean, not this round, obviously, but it's going to go once and then get stay ruined. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Wow, that changed almost nothing. Groping swipe! Shouldn't let people touch you like that, man. Holy freaking stress! So, I'm gonna need you to actually stun this time? Are you kidding me? With the 16%... Alright, now I'm getting upset. How are you gonna... Just no. You can kill your own stress. I don't think I have any way of helping them. 35 damage. Great is the weapon Pop. that cuts on its own. Hey, you actually gotta go. Tree branch smackdown. I wanna see how much damage it does. Yay! Eight. Staggering force. I guess we'll have to blight. I don't think you can honestly reduce the damage more than that. Uh, pull to the front, because now the leper can hit them both. Is the leper gonna hit them both? The leper is going to hit them both now. Nope! And now she can't hit. Oh, that backfired. Seven! Poison spores. Embrace the dark. We're in trouble. We're gonna need to camp like multiple times. I thought we were pretty prepared for this because nothing would be able to kill us, but if we have heart attacks, I think it's probably the same. So we're gonna get you out of here as soon as possible because you're fired. That went down to 40%, so now let's get it back up to 80 again. And we really need to focus the stress people. 10 to 20. 17 to 33. Zero. Confusion spores one last time to mess with us. And put us almost back into our original party position? Should have run stress stuff, the things I did not consider. A singular strike. Crit four, that's 25 damage. You can finally heal. These people actually took the damages. You can miss. They've reduced our light down to 58 because of their abilities. Uh gone. 
obliterated. Gun. A jute tapestry. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Fifty-five hundred gold. What the hell? So they reduce the cost of buying everything in town, and we get more money now. That's awesome. All of a sudden, game is casual. Fortune, waiting to be spent. Seven hundred and seventeen hundred and fifty. These stack to seventeen hundred and fifty. So the antiquarians give you seven hundred and fifty each. Still, it's pretty awesome. So after one room, we have to camp. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Why is that ten? Is somebody? All oh, right, he's a stress eater. That's unfortunate. Kill your stress. Kill their stress. We're gonna have to stay like super on top of this. You need to prevent nighttime ambush as much as that sucks. What can we do for three? Is anybody here diseased? I don't think they are. Wound carry. You're just gonna need to kill some stress. Unfortunate, we can't really do more than that. These people are set to actually heal, heal, so... In Radiance, may we find victory. These two are switched around, I don't think that matters. I'm almost guaranteed... that it's almost guaranteed that we're gonna fail. Because we had to camp after the first room, but if we run into stuff like this... There's a chance. I mean, that's happened before, where you run into all the terrible things at the very beginning. Thirteen. Twenty-nine. Annihilated. Hopefully we'll just run into tons of spiders or something. A death by inches. Oh, no loot. I was waiting for it. I was like, where's is this coming? Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Really use some scouting. We don't have band-aids. Bandages, why? We are going to focus the stress people and that shit around. If there's a choice between us taking lots of damage and us killing the stress people, we're gonna take the damage. I don't see a reason to go over there and fight a battle. We don't have to. I guess it actually is a room battle, so it'd probably be easier than this one. Thank you for being under half. The sex contents are gold. One, two, three. Match is struck. A blazing star is born. That looks newish. Stun them, please. Okay, so nobody here has a stress move. That's good. Damage high parties is what we're set up to fight right now. 12 and 17. Rain in the forest. I guess this is a forest. Um. I don't think any of them really particularly hit too hard, but let's use it on him anyway. Behold the unquenchable fire of. What do you say? The stars or something? Four with the bleed. Groping swipe, only four damage. Yeah, so that would have been like ten, that's still good. You are going to fix the bleed. Blade, why did I say bleed? And wrecked him. So wrecked him. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Sacrifice. Mark Bray. Really it's too bad there's nobody the to take advantage of that mark. Rain of blood near. Slowly. Uh, this is how a life is taken. So you could only stun one of them anyway, so what you're gonna do is fix them. Cured. And 21. I think I would like for him to heal, actually. Five. Escape cloud. Mortality clarified in a single strike. And then it jumped 
to the back. Kill it. I don't. Oh. Well, Princess Apricot can hit it now. I'm not liking all the status effects we're getting. Can't cure them off fast enough. Wait, didn't Warren have a. Oh well. Ten. Give them no quarter. Rain of Blight. You will kill your own stress, for you can do nothing else. I can clear the corpses, but everybody else can hit that thing, so... Is there really a reason to? Will you quit healing for two? You've been really bad to me lately. I don't appreciate that. We are going to cure the Blight. We need to keep the damage as low as possible. Why don't you, uh, give him a hug? Hugs! As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Pristine fountain, a beautiful fountain. It looks unaffected by surrounding chaos. Reinvigorates! 20. And do we scout? Secret! It's a secret. We don't have a key. Probably gonna... We have to explore 90% of rooms. Did we skip three? I don't know if we could. I think we're probably gonna go for it. Yes, food. No. Oh yeah, good. We do, we do have one. I was like, extra food! Extra food! It was actually food this time. Okay. Insatiable ghoul and stuff we can handle. Stun. Wow, the thing that had more than an 80% chance to work actually worked. Destroyed. And he hit them both. Is this is this working intended? As intended? I don't know if I believe that. You're just gonna spam out. We have to kill you immediately. You Crit 20. Soup. That's definitely what immediately looks like. Everybody. Balls of the wall damage, kill it quick. 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 Pop. Slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. I need that other stuff. What we got? This again. So what we're going to do is we're gonna play grenades. And then you're unable to stab her. How much damage does this do? Two to three, not even worth it. You could pull her to the front, though. And you actually hit. So you can finish her. Is broken. No stress. Offensive. Confusion spores. Wow, that was terrible. Everything's wrong with the world! You can still if it bleeds from here. So I think I'm just going to leave you here. Can she if it bleeds from the very back? No. So whenever the leper moves, that's actually going to be a problem. You need to move back one. How many can you move back? He needs to move back one as well. I guess they're just going to juggle until the other one can move up. You can reduce the damage for a tree branch smackdown. And you need to start taking the time to move forwards. She only needs to be up one. So your people are going to have to juggle. 19! That was a death's door avoided. Thank you for moving back. Groping swipe. 6. Heal me. And you actually can! We can fix the blade. Get fixed. So you can move forwards one now, which puts you into actual attack range. Nine and twelve. Prevent the tree branch world. smackdown. So uncivilized. Twelve damage on a crit. Well, I mean, I guess she's places. You groped her. 
Your hands are really gross. So she was infected adversely. So this thing can't be hit anyway. This is worrisome. That's worrisome. Should have just moved him back. I could have swept that out pretty much perfectly there, but she's already in if it's bleeds range. That's probably what she's going to end up using. Dang, the bleed fell off. 17. Oh, one of those fell off too. Should you move and then you move? Should we just... Let's just fix the party order, honestly. We're all in a pretty bad situation right now, but we do have good camping skills, so party's back in original order, I think. And that means you can heal for seven. We're now in positions to heal again. Which we need. Poison spores is good, especially since we resisted. So I'm going to stun you so that you don't do terrible stuff. And that should buy us time. Confidence Seven and thirty years as the enemy crumbles. You're yeah, hit him, I guess. I was gonna have her heal herself, but who's five again? If we were getting eighteen around, it wouldn't even be a problem. Thirty-three. It's going to take four. Battlefield Medicine. So you're actually going to have to hit it. But we win. Who to heal at the last second? They're pretty hurt. But the victory. Perhaps the turning point. So let's get the secret room so that I can start the next episode down here. That's too much. Alt, for we have found problems. Yay, stress relief. What did we get? Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. We found the Muns. Alright, so I'm going to come back over here, go to that room, and then start the next episode back down here. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you liked it. Later, everybody.